Hey, I am Brett Lee Clark, and this is my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a review on the KitchenAid. Um, I'm gonna do like a five minute review, because, I mean, is there any, are there any products that take more than five minutes to tell you if they're good or not? I don't think so. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna review the $199 KitchenAid coffee grinder, and let you know if it's good or not. Um, I've already been using it for like four months, which is why I wanted to do the review on it to let you know if it was worth it. So, first of all, it's really cool. So you can like pick how many cups you want just by turning this little knob, see, so look. So like in the morning, we'll get like two cups. I can't see what it says. Hold on. So in the morning, we do, oh, it says one cup, two cup, three cup, see, four cup, yeah, nope, four cup, yeah. So you can pick how many cups you want. Another thing you can do is right here, you can slide this, oh, let's see, so you can see the numbers changing. You can slide this up here and it changes the grind settings. So you can do espresso, drip. I can't see what the other one's saying. Let's find out. Okay, what does that say? Oh, perk, French press. Yeah, so they have French press, percolating, drip, percolator, twerkulator. So they have French press, twerk, not twerk, percolator, not, Jesus Christ. They have French press, perk, uh, <laughs> drip, like regular coffee, and then espresso. Yeah, I guess also French press is regular coffee, but you get what I'm saying, regular. <laughs> and then you just push start, right? Start right here. There we go. Um, but the, the best part about this is, so, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so the reason why we wanted a new coffee grinder was because the old one would always have like, when you, like, you know, like the normal, the normal kind. It'd always get like a uh, coffee grind stuck to it, coffee grounds, grounds not grinds, grounds, yeah. Stuck to it to where like you had to like always wash it after each use. So this, I'm not even kidding, hold on, I didn't bring anything over here to pour it into, but nothing sticks to it. I can just pour it into the, pour it into the sink. Okay, so you see, coffee grinds, right? Yep, they're in there, right? But this is made out of like, I don't know, there's like no static. It, normally there's like static that causes it to stick to the side. But look. Completely empty, right? No cleanup. I mean, we've, this is gonna sound gross, but we probably only washed this once in like four months because it comes right out. Does it, it doesn't stay, it doesn't stick. And then usually, I just moved it, that's fine. Usually there's no uh, fallout, but there was a fallout right there. But normally there's no fallout and you just put it back in and you're done. So is it worth $200? Yes, it's worth $200. I realize my video's only been going for three minutes and I wanna do a five minute video, so I should probably talk more. But uh, <laughs> yes, I do wanna say it is a great product. I would buy it again. We love it. I'll show you how we make coffee every morning because we get up at different times. I'm usually up at like eight with the dogs. He gets up, it just depends. If you work, if you're working like late, he could get up at noon and then work that night. So it all depends. So it's easier for us to be able to do fresh coffee one at a time than it is to um, make a whole pot. Does that make sense? We also have an, a Ninja, I'll show it in the video. We have a Ninja coffee maker that we've had for probably like five or six years and we absolutely love it. So there's your free review. We love our Ninja coffee maker. I'm pretty sure they still sell it. I'll show in the video how you use it, but you literally just pick like what size cup you want on a little turd knob. You hit rich brew because you want it nice and thick and good. And then it comes right out in two minutes and you're done. And you got a fresh brew from grinding to uh, brewing two minutes. It's real good. <laughs> so anyway, yes, this is my short and sweet review. And yeah, go buy this. If, you, if you're like someone like us, like we go gambling a lot. So if you're a gambler and, you, and you're okay like losing a couple hundred bucks at the casino, it's worth it. I promise you, this is, don't go to the casino one time and buy this instead and it's worth it. Oh wait, so another thing is you can take your beans. You ever had Jittery Joe's from Athens, Georgia? Go dogs! Um, you can take your beans and you pour them in here. You know, you're saying like the whole little bean thing up here, little bean holder. And you have like beans for like a whole week or more. Just depends, but it keeps them fresh because it's airtight. So that's one thing, it's easier just to dump some in there and Move on. Also, Jittery Joe's, they deliver. So if you want some Jittery Joe's coffee, is it just jitteryjoes.com? I'm not sure. But we get like two, to, or we get four cans delivered a month, and we usually give some away. But yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you how you make the coffee.
real coffee in there. All right, so I am Brett Lee Clark, and this is my channel. If you like this, my video or my style, there's more five minute reviews coming. I bought those little uh, asteroid men that shine lights on the wall. So I'm gonna do a review about those. Um, and I have movie stuff coming and cooking stuff coming. I'm a random channel. I just do things that I like and if you happen to like them too, great. Stick around. If you subscribe and I post a video you don't like, that's okay. Just scroll past it. Don't unsubscribe because one of my videos you didn't like but you liked the other. Stick around. Maybe you never know. I'm, I'm just here to, I'm just here to entertain you. So yeah. Oh, also, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Huh. Also, I'm going to try to do videos where it's like, um, advice videos but don't take my advice but ask for my advice does this make sense so you can email me at dearbrettley <laughs> at gmail.com it can be advice it can be questions it can be anything you want not advice for me don't tell me what i need to do i don't want to hear about it <laughs> but no, you could ask me anything or do anything and i'll do a dear brettley video if i get some emails so just email me um, ask me for advice, ask me a question, whatever, dearbrettley at gmail.com. I probably won't respond, or maybe I will respond. If I use you in the video, I will definitely respond. But yeah, so email me and ask me a question, and I'll check them, and yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Again, I am Brett Lee Clark, and you can follow me on the gram, or not, or you can. All right, so yeah, I think I'm done here. Thanks again. Go buy your coffee. Go buy your coffee grinder. All right. Y'all have a good day. Oh.